Hey, what's up everybody out there? This is Nick from House of Paint 203, bringing you the third installment of the Golem series. Uh, the third of the four golems that I'll be doing and posting. Most recently we worked on the Stone Golem and the Clay Golem. I recently learned that you pronounce it Golem. And today we're going to be checking out the Iron Golem. Have him here in his blister pack. So let's get started. That is a nice looking miniature. Definitely my favorite out of the four golems that are featured in the monster manual. And certainly the golem that packs the heaviest punch with an armor class of 20, 210 hit points and a plus 13 on both his slam attack and his sword attack, which he'll be able to actually utilize both of those on one turn as he does have a multi-attack. So this guy is a force to be reckoned with. Pretty smooth. It doesn't look like I'm going to have to go in and do any mold lines. And what I'm about to do is I am going to base coat this entire miniature except the base that he's standing on. I'm going to base him in gunmetal gray, which is from Vallejo Paints. Applying just a little bit to the palette. Take my number two brush. I'm gonna get just a dollop of water, just a little, wet that brush just a little bit. Make sure that paint is nice and thin down. And then we're going to hop right in. So there we go. Again, just a single tone base coat of gunmetal gray. Um, I actually had to do uh, two coats because I originally thinned the first coat a little bit too much. Uh, and the, the second coat went over really nicely. So from here, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to give this a black wash. I'm gonna go over it with the black wash, then I'm gonna follow it up with a silver highlight. And then I'm actually gonna go in and do a couple interesting things. I really do wanna to stick to the source material, similar to the artwork on the back of the blister pack, as well as the depiction in the monsters manual both of which kind of have a reddish tinge to the metal so i'm actually going to do some pretty interesting things with uh, a red ink that i'm going to be trying out i've seen a couple artists on youtube actually use this technique on this particular miniature so i want to try it out for myself um, and we'll see how it goes but thank you for watching this first part of the video. Uh, again, like, subscribe. You can follow me on Facebook, House of Paint 203. You can follow me on Instagram at house underscore of underscore paint underscore 203. And thank you for watching, and I will see you for the next one.